Hello friends, welcome back to Node.js tutorial. This is one of the most awaiting tutorial and an important tutorial, right? So we will discuss about the API creation. Most of the time, if any organization uses a node, that means um, maximum time that so they will have some API related works, right? So though we have not discussed about uh, database connection, but in this video, we are going to discuss about basic API creation and we'll use another file to get some data, right? So we'll get some data from another file source, right? And we will test that API with the Postman. This is the API testing tool. So the first thing to create any node server, first we need to use the HTTP server or we need to use the HTTP module, right? So simply write, uh, create a constant variable, suppose constant HTTP and just include the HTTP module, right? So require HTTP will include the HTTP module, right? And simply just use the HTTP to create a server, HTTP dot uh, create server right so this is the function and by this function we can create a server and there is a callback function and it will accept two things that is the first parameter will be the request and the next parameter will be the response so let's say request for req and for response we need res right or you can say any name you can write respones the full name but still i am getting the small name so that we can access the all the request using the req variable and all the response from response as we are creating uh, api that means there will have some request and there will have some response so every time when you're going to access or when you're going to uh, deal with uh, the any response that time we can use the res right and the last things the last things we need to listen so use the listen and there will be dot and then choose any port so simply just write uh, 4000 right so this is the port so in this port we are going to run my application right so this is the basic create server and to set any api we need to create or we need to set a header right so to set a header get all the header from res that is the response and simply to write head so just write write head this is a function using write head function we can set the header and here simply write the content type so simple just write here content type and the content type will be application a p p l i c a t i i n application slash json so api will have the json formatted so just use application slash json right now the thing is when we just going to write some things or when you just print the output or send the response to any server or send the response we can write the right method so simply use response so we are just going to make the response and simply write the right method right so here we can write the method so simply um just write anything so simply just create a variable and just create a json formatted data and here simply write const constant data or you can use the bear no problem on that and here just pass the data suppose i'm creating a json formatted data and here suppose i'm passing the name so name is suppose uh, like uh, ram shankar right and then i can say the age or email so simply write email and simply write ram at the rate email dot com so email dot com and set another attribute that is age so here just write age is 30 okay so this is the json formatted data now we can print into the right right so simply we need to response the output so we need to make that string as a stringify or we need to make that json into the string format so simply just write json dot stringify 
so simply write json dot stringify and let's use the data okay so that's all now if i want to run this so simply just go to the directory and write node index.js right so it will run the server into this uh, 4000 location so just go to the browser and here simply just run localhost and the url so it's not responding something error uh, the error is nothing here so just go here oh sorry we need to end the response so simply write response end right so we are using response end method and just restart the server so simply control c so as we have installed the node mon in our last tutorial so we can write the node mon index.js and if i just go here and let's refresh this so simply write localhost for triple zero right so what is the port for triple zero so just copy here and paste okay so we are getting the response right as it is uh, api we can get response from the postman also so simply write here four thousand and there is a get method so we don't need to write any things and click on send so we are getting the output right right so we are getting the output now if i just want to create another file and i want to fetch the data from another file so how can i do this simply just create a source dot js something source file from here we can get the source and here we need to include the source also so simply just write a constant data and here i just going to close this and here just uh, require and simply just write um s o r c e s o r c source right and all the things which i just created just paste into the source and make that as a data so simply write here constant sorry uh, um, constant data and let's export this so that we can import from the index.js so simply use the module concept module dot exports equal to data right so we are exporting data and we are including data from here right so simply just uh, go to the postman again and refresh this hope it will work right so could not send a request view in console so let's see what is the error cannot find source so let's see what happened actually uh, this will be dot slash source so that it can include right source right in this way now if i just check so now if i just go to the postman again and click on send we are getting data so in this time we are getting the data from the source file now if i want to set a multiple data uh, suppose if i just going to create a multiple data or multiple um, data format so simply write here in this way in the array and just simply write in this way so simply just write here in this way so comma and for the for data is set it and change the name so simply write david both right so this is the name and for email write david and for age make it 50 and here change the name to another so simply write mike hasi and here simply email that is mike and make it 35 or it's 40 and the name i just want to write suppose john martin okay and email is john okay so we have four records ready now if i just go to the postman again and let's check so just click on this we are getting all the four data right so this is 
basically the api example and how the api is working actually so the thing we need to remind we need to use the http module to create the server and we have some source to get the data and we need to write the response into the head right so this is the right head and in this way we can make the response right so api creation is simply now we need to get the data dynamically so we need to use the database so next day we are going to discuss about how we can connect database with node.js right so hope you will like this video and please comment still if you have any queries about this video and next day we are going to discuss about how we can access database using node.js so basically we will start from the mysql and after the mysql completion we will start with the mongo so that we will know how we can connect the database with different defined database right and after finish all the connections we will start with the node.js framework like express and we will complete all the topics related to express and we will create a project right so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video and thanks for watching this video have a good day bye